Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. If that interests you, then make sure that you click that subscribe button, as I would love for you to be a part of our little family. So today's video is on how to do a brain dump. If you've ever felt foggy or overwhelmed or just needed to get your mind clear, then doing a brain dump will definitely help you. A brain dump is the act of getting all of your thoughts out of your head so that you are able to focus on one idea at a time and not have to worry about forgetting all of the other stuff. So today I'm going to walk you through how I do this process within my happy planner. This is the very front section of my planner which is my notes section and this is where I jot down all of my random notes that happen throughout the course of the day and do my brain dump. So the first thing that you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pen. You don't have to use Happy Notes like I'm using. I'm only using my Happy Notes pages because I put this back into my planner and I know I won't lose this sheet. Just make sure wherever you write down this list, it's going to be somewhere memorable and you won't forget it. The next thing that I like to do is put brain dump at the top and date the page. This helps me kind of remember the last brain dump that I did and my due dates for everything. So the next step is to write down every single thought that comes to your head. And I mean everything that you could possibly think of. You just want to write it down in any type of order on this sheet of paper. So if you want some ideas of the different things that I like to write out, I like to write things down when I have a very busy schedule, if I feel unbalanced or off, if I'm frustrated with work, if I have a lot of new projects or new clients, if I have just gotten off a client call or an important meeting, I like to write down the different things that I may need to do. I like to write down different blog posts or different YouTube videos that I want to film and like schedule out and script out. And I like to plan out my next month, my next quarter, or if I'm learning anything new, anything that I'm reading. All of these things can be within a brain dump along with chores and anything else that I could possibly think of. After my mind is clear, the next thing that I like to do is pull out another color pen. Usually I like to write in red, but this could be any other color pen, or if you decide not to do, to do this in another color, that's fine too. But I like to categorize the different things that I have written down. Now we are organizing all of these items into categories so that it makes it easier to actually do something with them. Right now with it being one big list, they kind of are all over the place. But once you categorize them, you can start to plan them out effectively. Now you can have as many categories as you like, but I do like to keep them as uh, minimum as possible. Um, that is because the more categories I have, I think the more overwhelming the list starts to seem. But if you can keep them down to the main areas of your life, the big things that you kind of plan out and focus on, then that would really help out this system. So mine are my personal category. I also have YouTube because YouTube is kind of its own thing for my life as far as filming, editing, uploading, and all of that and planning it out. I have my business category, a category for my clients, and um, just different errands and things that I have to run. So after I have categorized every single item, the next thing that I like to do is pull out another sheet of paper. This sheet of paper is going to be to break down the big projects, the big things that I have put on the brain dump into smaller tasks that I can actually add to my calendar. Now this process can take some time, but I am basically going by category and taking each item in that category and then breaking it down into the smallest denominator, the smallest task that I can do to get one step closer to my goal. A lot of times when we do brain dumps or when we think about all the different things we have to do, they seem overwhelming because the tasks are too big. You know, it's like planned Disneyland trip is a really big task, but when I break it down into just finalizing the dates or selecting a place where we're going to stay or looking up the airline, looking up the flights and coming up with a budget. It doesn't seem as overwhelming. So that's why I like to do this process so I can take my time with this entire task of planning a trip. 
This process also helps you because if you plan out every single detail for a particular task, you can pretty much ensure that you won't forget a particular thing that you're supposed to do for that project. I love to write down every single thing that I need to do for a particular project, mainly because if I feel like I haven't been doing enough or I'm a little bit hard on myself on one day, I can go to this list and just check off one small thing. I can do one small thing toward my goal and it will make me feel so much better. So I just took the time to write down all of the things that I wanted to do in the personal category. So as you can see, this could take some time if you do it for all the categories, but it is so rewarding once you're done. The next thing that you want to do is add some dates, put some time frames on the tasks that you have put on this list. So when you are looking at this list, you are roughly deciding when you're going to do each task that's on here. So I might break it down into things like what I'm going to do today, what I'm going to do this week, this month, sometime in the near future, maybe in a couple of months. It doesn't all have to be done at um, the same time or in the same week. You're just putting some dates on there. And even if you can't get it done within that time frame, you can always change the date. But the idea is to keep it in front of you, keep it on the list, keep a date next to it, because if you need to, you can just adjust the dates, but we want to keep it on there so we keep it in front of us to get it done. So after I have added all of the dates, all of the different days that I would like to get certain things done, I like to pull out my planner. This is why I usually keep this list at the front of my planner, but I'm going to flip to this particular week and see if I have any dates on here that are for this week. So if I have any tasks on my list that are easy or can be done within 20 minutes or less, I like to add them onto my schedule for this week. As you can see, I have to take out my Christmas decorations from storage. And so since that's something that's pretty simple, it's within my house, it could take me like 20 minutes to do if that. I'm going to add it on for Sunday and put that we're going to decorate on that day. And once it's added onto there, I can just mark it off the list because I have added it onto my calendar. And even if I don't do it on that day, I will just migrate it to the next week on my calendar. So it will just live on my calendar from there on out. And that is my completed brainstorm process. I do this every single week. Usually I try and do it on a Saturday or a Sunday before I start my week just so I can have a clear mind. If y'all have any questions on brainstorming or if you have anything that you do in particular, make sure that you leave it in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure that you are following me on Instagram at The Organized Money. We have a bunch of fun conversations over there also, so I wouldn't want you to miss that. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye, guys.